Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to Candice Owen versus Oli Fang Girls The Great What The Woman Is. Guys, let's get straight into this. Would any of you date a trans person? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I feel like if I say no, I'm going to get a lot of backlash. Well, but I think I mean, my honest, personal preference, I would say no. Okay, that's fine. No. 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 Hell well, no. you're married. Um, <laughs> me, me personally, I, I, I would not. Um, my question to you guys is, would any of you object to a man not wanting to date a transgender woman? I think everybody has their own personal preferences. And if there's one thing you're allowed to be super oh, picky on, it's who you date. Like, okay. you know, I think that's the only thing that you can 100% have free reign on. You can date who you decide. Any... I would completely agree with okay. her. Like we talked about before, I think that everyone should have boundaries, mm. you know? And as long as that person's upfront and honest and they can have, like, an adult conversation that isn't rooted in hatred, I don't think there's anything wrong with preferring somebody that isn't trans. Okay. I have a question. So, and we, this has been, like, a thing that's gone viral on this podcast before, um, and it always seems to spark quite a debate. So, would you consider it to be gay for a man to date a trans woman yes for a man to date a no personally would, would he would you categorize him as straight um probably yeah because what is it oh sorry this is Here, like, too technical i mean I'm I'm like I'm, i just if you don't want to answer that's like, fine go just, ahead if you don't I want to answer that's I'm, fine go ahead i'm with pixie i don't think that that makes me gay at all in, se i'm like i have no I clue for not to answer yeah. You, like uh, okay. Um, question. Do, I mean, does your answer change based on the stage of transition? Like, what if this is before any transition has occurred at all, but the person has a, come to the realization that they are transgender? How does all well, I would appreciate. assume that you have some level of like homosexual inclination if you're a man attracted to a person who looks and represents as a man. You know, mm -hmm. like if you're saying pre-transition, I would say like. You're, if you're attracted to those components of that person. But pre-transition, if you are transgender, are you a woman? Pre-transition, you're a woman who hasn't transitioned yet, so you're presenting as a male what, until what if you there transition. Hasn't, what, what if there hasn't been any bottom surgery? What do you mean? Like there's still an appendage. So yeah. you're saying they transitioned everything but their bottom? I... They're, maybe they're in the process of transitioning. Let's say, they're, fine, everything, but the... Okay, I feel like I'm kind of confused here, so I'll just yeah. leave it in, the, in these it sentences. It seems really technical. Two people that have penises, I don't care how you feel on your inside, I don't care if you dress and you wear a dress, you wear a wig, if you come together and you have sex, you're gay. Yes. And I think that is homosexual, right? So I know that people are trying, it's, it is convoluted, so I understand I why like, you're like, uh, they're yeah. trying to it's make it something thing. else and hurt. it's in your head and, well, what if you feel like a woman? It's very simple. If you are a man and you are having sex with a man, irrespective of how you feel or whether or not you've mutilated your body or you've chopped something off, it doesn't make you not a man, you are, you're a man. And two men coming together to have sex with their appendages intact, obviously, is homosexual yes. sex. So yeah, I think um, you know it's different if you're presenting completely different because at that point, like you know, you have men who say that they've been trapped or whatever, and I'm like, that person is straight. They literally slept with someone who was like presenting as a woman, looked like a woman. They couldn't tell. Like, I wouldn't consider that gay. Um, but at the end of the day, like, honestly, I don't really care about people's sexual orientation that much. I feel like this is, like, kind of a culture war issue. And for some people, culture war issues are important. But I'd rather talk, like, policy about something. I don't know if that makes me boring here, but... Uh, well, I'm not sure I'm totally following, <laughs> but... I guess, so, what is a woman? <laughs> I've answered this question before on the podcast. Here, I can start with Azalia. Did I say your name or I'm sorry? <laughs> no, Azalea. you never do, but it's okay. I, okay, <laughs> go ahead. Well, so what is a woman? I mean, I think that gender is a spectrum. I obviously know that you do not agree with me, and a lot of the conservative people here won't agree with me, but I guess it's just how you present and how you feel. I mean, I don't really, again, I don't like to structure things that way and, like, make it so black and white. I think that people black should black represent themselves and be what they want to be, and it's nobody else's business, to be honest. A female is somebody that has a vagina. <laughs> That's what it says in the book, right? Fuck. Okay, cool. Which book? The Bible? Uh, the health ed book. Oh, the health ed book. Okay. No, but what Gender is a... and sex are two different things. So. Okay. 
You answered the question correctly, okay. so I don't want you to feel like you didn't oh. answer it wrong. What, what is a woman? A woman is I'm like, somebody, this is so complex. I'm okay. It doesn't need to be. Okay. Go ahead. It doesn't a need woman to be. is somebody who presents or acts as the social construct of women. And the reason why I don't say biology is because whenever we look at biology, the truth is, before coming to this room, I did not look at anybody's genitalia here. I did not look at any of your chromosomes. I just assumed you guys were women because of how you dress and act. So I think that maps on more to our reality of how we use the word woman. Essie. This is so controversial. Um, I'm very, like, a man and a woman. Man has a penis, woman has a vagina. Biologically, man and a woman. I agree. I think that it's, like, whatever biologically, and anom- yeah, anatomically, what you've got going on. Um, I feel like what brings out my feminine qualities the most is the thought of being a mother in the future. So I guess I associate... Um, being a woman with being a mother in all aspects of that. Um, oh, okay. That's Lily. my answer. Uh, your gender is decided before you're born, when you're born, and for the rest of your life. I'm having a little boy. The doctor knows that. I know that because uh, he's got a penis that is growing <laughs> inside of my stomach right now, which is kind of trippy mm-hmm. to think about. Um, if I get onto this table and I start meowing like a cat, I don't suddenly become a biological cat because I present like a cat and wear a tail and say meow meow that is probably means that I need to talk to a therapist yes not you not you <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah it's not that difficult it doesn't need to be convoluted it doesn't need to be controversial um a woman to answer your question is an adult female <laughs> adult human female it is an yeah. adult mm. human female and that is the answer to something that it's just shocking to me that every person knew every child yes. every and then within just a couple of cultural years everyone is so confused about you know, water being is. a liquid <laughs> it's very like again i'm fascinated by it so i love to talk to people that are confused by that but if you were born with a vagina you are a female and if you were born with a penis you are a, a male. male and if you had some rare thing happen which hardly ever happens but people always talk about it where you're born with both both parts you might be intersex hermaphrodite hermaphrodite, uh, but generally speaking I think we know that that means that something genetically went wrong and we are born either male or female Pixie do you object to her definition yeah because I think um, I understand where you're coming from but I think when it comes to -to day-to-day use of words they have to map onto our reality somewhat and the truth is like as I didn't check anyone's like biology or chromosomes before coming here, you can say it's an act, but the truth is that's it's an act that everybody plays into. Everybody looks at how a person looks like and says, oh, they're a woman or male based off of that. And you can say, oh, that person is putting on a disguise that doesn't change their real gender or anything, but everybody acts that way. So to me, it's like, no, like the word that maps or the definition that maps most onto reality, onto our day-to-day usage is appearance-based. Uh, Candace does have to uh, take off here. Do you have a final response to her? Yeah, I just, you if you grow an afro and wear a wig and put, you know, a lot of black makeup on, you're not a black woman, you know? <laughs> so your appearance doesn't actually mean anything. I love you are, a, you're, you're not black. Um, and the same way that I'm not white. So how we, uh, if we can trick someone, you might be able to trick me. I think Roy Richard Dalazel did a really good job tricking people into believing that she was black for a long time. Uh, by darkening her skin, getting super tan and wearing fake wigs, but she wasn't actually a black woman. So how you feel on the inside and how you present, you might be able to trick people, but that makes you a liar, not a woman. Yes. So, um, yeah, that's what I would say in closing. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I feel this is different between knowledge and wisdom. Because to be honest, I feel Candace has wisdom. And I would say, where do we get to this? Like, where did all this start? More like, people are finding how to say the most basic things. More like you ask me, what is my name? And I'm like, my name is whatever you want it to be. It does not make sense. Like, we need to know what we are. Like, for us to define ourselves. So if you cannot say, he is they, and she is his, and it does not make sense. Like, a lot of people, why I feel why a lot of people are agreeing to this nonsense is the fact that, let's say, they are not allowing people to live in their delusional world. Like, it's not really changing anything to the cost of anything in the world. Like, it's not really affecting the price of products. It's not affecting anything. It's just there. And I feel about going to buy a meal, a dress, and you're like, I want to go to 
It's at, it's at the male section and female section. You cannot see they session or his session or I them session. It, it does not work like that. And the fact is that everyone knows this, but one to act stupid and it's just alarming. Like, it's crazy. But guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Like, I want to hear your thoughts about this. But guys, let's just do like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.